It is time to get the scoop on all the hot celebs and Hollywood headlines. E! News co-host Justin Sylvester is here with What's Buzzing. We also just heard moments ago, Justin, yes. that Derek Jeter just had a son. No. A baby boy. Three Four girls. And a boy. He finally got the boy. He got the boy. Yes. Congratulations. What would have happened if he got the fourth girl? Because well, I know that people that happens. That they would have sold. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay, what's so what you got? Swift. Well, you guys, Taylor Swift is on tour right now, and everybody is buzzing that she may or may not have a new man because this guy, Matt Healy, from the 1975, yeah. has been popping up <gasps> everywhere, and The Sun oh. reported that these two were together. Now, there were photos of them out in Nashville together. There what was were some, they doing? Well, leaving a party. Oh. There were also oh. photos of him at the concert, but we know Taylor Swift. We know that she did not tell anybody about her relationship with Joel Alwyn for months, and it lasted six years. Wait, is that him right That's there? That's him right there, jamming out. Okay. But they've known each other for years. I have a question. Did she really go from this boyfriend to all red? Didn't this breakup just happen? Yeah, this breakup just happened. Yeah. And as a registered single girl myself, <laughs> let me tell you, there are only two reasons why you are photographed with another man after a breakup. Yeah. yeah. One is you want your ex to know yeah. and the world to know that you're good. Yeah. I am good. I'm okay. thriving. Yes. Okay. And the other reason is, in order to find another baller, you need another baller to do it. That's true. So if you go ahead and be photographed <laughs> out with someone, someone else is going to pick up the phone and be like, hey, I heard you back out in these streets. Can oh, we go out so for a day? You don't think they're actually You just dating. cleared it up. No, I you think she think is dating? crumbing to let everyone know, one, I'm good, and two, I'm available. Okay, okay. all right. What else you got? Miss Beyonce's in the news again. Okay, y'all. Uh, so Beyonce <laughs> is going beyond the call of duty with this Renaissance tour oh, because she heard my complaints about the price of the show and? and that I had to take out a second mortgage on Jenna's house <laughs> to get the tickets. But she is going from two, a two-hour show to three hours, no opening act. Thank you. Wait, what? No I opening act. I told you. So th I have a theory. Hoda doesn't agree, but that's because Taylor plays for three hours and really 30 minutes. You don't look at what the minutes. other guy's doing. Oh, yeah, she does, because no, everybody's you don't. talking Beyonce about it. Beyonce is yes, all they, by they, herself. Excuse me, let's have our guest. Do you agree with me? I think Beyonce saw that Taylor was doing three hours and added a few more songs. I, I, have, Beyonce, I have Beyonce I on line one saying <laughs> everything she does, she does on her own. You know what? I got Blue Ivy on line two. Let's see who's got the answer. You know what? I've got Jay on line three. Okay, go ahead. But not only is she going three hours, there were also some complaints that she was only going to sing Renaissance songs. Our producer, Gavin, was upset about that. But the Swedes, shout out to my gay Swedes, they got video of her in her dress rehearsal and the songs that they heard, Crazy in Love, what? Naughty Girl, Love on Top. Love on Top! Love on Top! I love be, Love yes, on Top! Yes! Will be sprinkled in. Now, I also got a peek at the stage. Legally, I can't show it to you, but you can go ahead and Google it. And I'm going to tell you right now, it was worth the credit card that I took out in Hoda's name to get the ticket. Okay? What, you, what, you can't describe the stage? What's... It's huge. You have to just look. Okay. You have to see it. It's huge. It's bigger than okay. anything you have ever seen before in concert history is what I'm hearing. Wow. It is. I can't describe it legally, but we're going to have some fun. Okay. okay you got to talk about Yellowstone. Yes. What's going on? <sighs> Y'all, apparently this Mercury retrograde has hit Kevin <laughs> Costner like a freight train. Not only is Yellowstone being um, canceled, right. you know, he's going through the divorce. He couldn't make the Golden Globes because he was trapped inside of his house. I mean, I Trump. thought. Yeah. Yes. Remember? Oh, that's right. It's all Who nuts. said that? She was remember. funny. She was on our show. Yeah. Okay, whatever. We don't remember anything. Well, I have some bad news. Regina Hall. And some good Thank news mm -hmm. about Yellowstone. The bad news is you will never see Kevin Costner in Wranglers again after November 5th <laughs> because that's when the final season is airing. Wranglers. But the good news is we get to look at Matthew McConaughey potentially oh. because he is set to come on a sequel of Yellowstone that they will reboot after Kevin Costner's ah. Yellowstone goes away. Okay. So that Yellowstone is over for Yellowstone sure. Yellowstone after November 5th, pending the writer's strike, Will be over, but you get one more season. Okay. Oh, him it's in the can. Okay, got good. It. Got it. Um, Justin, thanks, Justin. We love, love Justin. you. Thank we you for trying to Justin. be with I'll us. I'll see you next week. We, we love you. Okay, good. You can catch Justin weeknights at 11 on our sister network, E.